a very good evening uh, to all uh, dear brothers uh, and sisters in christ so we thank our heavenly father and the lord and savior jesus christ uh, for giving it another opportunity to study his wonderful words of life so from last uh, few weeks uh, we have been studying about the great antichrist system so we have studied and seen from the scripture that the antichrist uh, is not a single person who is going to come and reign on this earth for a literal 7 years period so we have seen that uh, the great antichrist is actually a system a corrupt uh, religious system in christianity who using the name of christ uh, opposes christ uh, through various uh, false doctrines so last week uh, we majorly saw the number 366 so can anybody tell me what does that number 366 uh, signify is it a literal number that uh, antichrist is going to come and uh, literally put on their head and uh, on the hand is it a literal uh, 366 seal anil brother no brother okay then what does the 366 uh, signify what is the meaning of it अनिल जोयल हेलो जोयल सो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ट्रिपल सिक्स आई फॉरगेट सॉरी ब्रदर ट्रिपल सिक्स ले के जनाउँछ जस्तै कार्डहरु मास्टर कार्डहरु हैन भनेर चाहिँ हामीले ट्रिपल सिक्स को क्याल्कुलेसन पनि गरेका छौ नि त के रहेछ ट्रिपल सिक्स भनेको हामीले हेरेका छौ नि त अघिल्लो हप्ता नम्बर जोडे पूरे अल्फाबेट जोड़ीकन ओके नट बलम सो विल जस्ट टेक फ्यू मिनट्स टाइम टू जस्ट नो एंड अंडरस्टैंड द ट्रिपल सिक्स व्हाट वी स्टडीड यू सी लास्ट वीक बिकॉज दिस थिंग हैज टू बी रियली केप्ट इन आवर माइंड is very very important uh one minute tik tik gani tik tik yes tik tik gani tik 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 gani mam bolne okay uh are you able to see the screen uh, no brother we are uh, not seeing one minute Uh, i think now you are able to see yes yes okay see uh, last week uh, we studied about uh, uh, antichrist uh, where we saw uh, the pope has got uh, various titles and one of the important title is vicarius philidi so vicarius philidi is a latin word uh, which uh, actually means uh, in the place of christ uh, vicar means instead of christ so there uh, we have seen uh, that uh, the various titles which a pope has all uh, signifies uh, uh, this one only but uh, vicarius philidi uh, is one of the primary titles uh, which actually is the uh, you see embossed on the uh, crown which the pope wears so last week we studied in revelation 13 chapter 
it says uh, it is the name of the beast can somebody read revelation 13 chapter revelation 13 chapter 16 17 18 Anil brother, Joel brother. Revelation 13, chapter. Yeah, 16, 17, 18. And he caused all both small and great rich and poor, free and born received a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man mighty buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Mm. Continue. Here is wisdom, let him had that had understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. Okay. So uh, here is the wisdom. That means uh, here is a symbolic meaning. It's not literal meaning. Let him that had understanding count, uh, you see, the number of his name, the number of the beast, uh, you see, and uh, the number uh, is given saying, uh, you see, it is uh, 666. Okay. So last week, uh, we have seen how, uh, you see, that uh, 666 uh, is not a literal number. It is uh, the significance that is mentioned, that is given in the name, uh, you see, of the beast. So, the name of the beast, the Revelation 13 chapter, we studied about the beast, which had a body like a leopard, a mouth like a lion, and hands like a bear. That actually signifies uh, the great Antichrist system to whom you see, the Roman Emperor gave the power and uh, the name, that means the title which Pope has, uh, that actually signifies uh, 666. So, last week uh, we have calculated and seen how this uh, uh, name of uh, 666, uh, you see, is mentioned, you see, uh, in Roman numericals, uh, each and every alphabet, uh, you see, has got... Uh, a number you see so last week uh, we studied how to calculate 666 from vicarvius philidi isn't it so hope uh, you all can re recollect and remember uh, brother anil brother joel uh, sister munna brother romi and brother amar i hope you all uh, remember a little bit uh, what we studied last week <clears throat> yes, brother. Okay. Anil, brother, and uh, Joel, brother. Yes, brother. Okay. Now, uh, Sunita, sister. Okay. Please uh, concentrate uh, as we uh, just revise these few points again. So, in Roman numericals, V actually means uh, uh, what number? Anil, brother. Uh, Five. 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 Very good. So I means which number? I means which number? One. 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 Very good. C means? Hundred. Okay. Again, again, uh, A, R, that's all neutral number. So it doesn't have any number. Uh, so that's all zero. Then uh, again, I. I means 1. So actually, it's Vicar Vis V. So V means 5. S means uh, 0. So total, how much you'll get? Vicar Vis, if you to total it, how much will get, brother? 112. 112. Good. Now, let us come to Philly. F is a neutral number. So it's 0. I means again 1. L means uh, how much in Roman numericals? L. 50. 50. Again, I. And again, one more Y. You see? So, total how much you'll get? Philly means how much you'll get? 53. 53. Good. Now, let us come to the last letter. D. E. I. Fill out D. D. Okay. 
D means in Romans numericals it is 500. E is neutral number. 0. I means 1. So how much total? D means how much? Five hundred one. Zero one. Five hundred one. Very good. Now, hundred and twelve plus fifty three plus five not one. Total how much you'll get? Six hundred sixty six. Yes, six hundred and sixty six. This is the number which is hidden in the title of Pope. Okay, that's what the verse says. This is the name of the beast. Let him that has understanding calculate the number. Correct now? Correct now? Hope you all understood. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Okay. Yes, brother. Anil brother, Joel brother. Yes, brother. You understood, brother? Yes, yes brother. Anil brother, clear? Yes, brother. Okay. Sunita, sir? Yes, brother. Okay. So, what uh, Revelation 13 chapter is saying is that uh, it's not saying that this is a literal uh, beast. This is the great antiquity system. So, that system, you see, has got titles which are against, uh, you see, Lord. Uh, remember Daniel 7 chapter? <laughs> Where we read uh, that this is a great antique system will speak against the Most High. He will think to change the laws and times. So that's what uh, is again given in Revelation 13 chapter. He will keep these titles which are against the word of God. And thus uh, he will be speaking against the Most High. You see? And uh, this triple six uh, actually signifies... Uh, that uh, great system and uh, anybody putting uh, this uh, seal upon the head uh, you see means what uh, if he believe in any of the false doctrines uh, of this uh, corrupt uh, Christianity it means like uh, we are putting seal ourselves on the head that means uh, putting a seal upon the head means uh, acknowledging those doctrines accepting uh, Agreeing uh, those evil doctrines of the system. Like for example, you see, there are so many doctrines which you have studied, which are preached falsely in the Chechenity. Like, uh, you see, soul. The Bible says that the soul dies, but today every Christian believes that the soul doesn't die. The soul is immortal. And the Bible says that uh, hell is a place uh, of death, but the world believes the tell is the place of torment. So those are the false doctrines. And uh, the Lord's Memorial Supper, it has to be done uh, once a year. But doing it frequently, monthly or weekly, that is against the word of God. And the doctrine of Trinity, where uh, they believe that the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit are one and the same. While the Bible clearly says uh, that the uh, three, you see, are... Uh, different and Holy Spirit in fact is actually the power of God. So these are the, some of the examples of the false doctrine which uh, you see the God's children should never be accepting or acknowledging. If we accept it, it is like putting a seal upon our head uh, ourselves. Uh, you see? And uh, what is the meaning of uh, putting uh, a seal on the hand? Uh, that means Lending our support for this evil system, sir. Lending our support for this corrupt system, sir. You see, it means that we are putting that seal on our hands, sir. Okay? So, I hope this is clear. Uh, Muna sister, is it clear for you? Brother, I am not able to listen properly because my there is some network issue okay uh anil brother is it clear now for you yes brother okay sunita sir is it clear yes brother 
Okay, so in the end, I'll again ask the question, same question. So let me see who's going to answer correctly. Okay, Joel brother, is it clear? Yes, brother. Okay, <clears throat> now let us go to today's class. Okay, so till now we studied about the Antichrist system. So what all things is going to happen and how to identify the Antichrist system we have seen. So today we are going to see in Revelation 12 chapter, where about this antichrist system, it is uh, symbolically given to us. Okay. So we'll take it in a simple way. We won't go in detail in each and every verse. But let us read Revelation 12, chapter 1 and 2. Revelation chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Sunita Sutra, can you read? And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars, and she being with child cried, travelling in birth and pain to be delivered. See, there was a wonder in heaven, a woman was clothed in sun, she was standing upon the moon, and in her head uh, she had a uh, a crown of tall stars and she was uh, actually carrying a child traveling in birth you see and uh, uh, what happened is him sir uh, read uh, verse uh, 5 can somebody read verse 5 And she brought forth and mm. and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was cause of on unto God and to his throne. Very good, brother. So here uh, if you see in verse uh, five it says she was uh, carrying and traveling in pain with the child. And she delivered a man-child. And as soon as the child was born, the child actually sat on the throne of God, it seems. And he ruled the whole world with a rod of iron. Okay, now who is this uh, woman and who is this child? Who sat upon the throne of God and ruled uh, the whole world with a rod of iron? Who is this child? Anil brother, any idea? Who is this child? Huh? Anil brother, you there? Jesus. Jesus. Okay, who is that uh, woman? Who is that woman? If the child is Jesus, who is the mother of Jesus? Mother Mary. Mother Mary. Okay. Then, uh, when was Mother Mary clothed with the sun? And when did she stand on the moon? And did she have a 12 uh, star crown upon her head? Did she have it? Mm. Think. Okay, Joel, brother, tell me. If the child is Jesus and the uh, woman is Mother Mary, uh, when was Mother Mary clothed with the sun? Or she, was she standing upon the moon at any time? Uh, no idea, brother. Maybe woman is... Uh... Maybe charge. Okay. And son, son is maybe. Okay, we'll see. Uh, Romister, any idea? Who is that woman? If the child is Jesus, then who is the woman? No idea, brother. Okay. 
see uh, why we actually put forth these questions is that generally the thought among christianity is that this woman is mother mary and she was conceived of jesus and jesus as soon as he was born he was caught up to the throne of god and he ruled the whole world with a rod of iron okay if this is uh, claimed as mother mary you see you might have seen uh, in the roman catholic churches they would uh, put this idol where she will be having uh, a crown of 12 uh, stars uh, clothed with a you see golden sari that means the sun uh, standing up on the moon you see and everybody thinks that this is mother mary because if you read the verses uh, it naturally comes to our mind that uh, that child uh, who is going to rule the whole world it can be none other than our lord jesus christ okay now let us see uh, what happened to the woman in verse 6 revelation 12 6 revelation 12 6 uh romi sister can you read revelation 126 and the women filled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of god that they should feed her there a thousand a thousand two hundred and three Three score days. Ah, uh, no, yeah. If you see, as soon as Jesus was born, Jesus was caught to the throne of God. It seems, and immediately, this uh, woman, Mother Mary, she ran away into the wilderness. It seems, sir. Now, when did Mary run away? As soon as Jesus was born, you see, did he run away to the desert? Huh? And the child Jesus was. Uh, caught up to throne of god as soon as he was born no dear brethren imagine uh, if you become the prime minister of nepal do you think that your mother will run away from you no wherever your mother uh, be she will really come running towards you not run away from you you see because you are the uh, prime minister you see so similarly if jesus is the one who is going to rule the whole world why should she run away you see dear brethren therefore you see this clearly proves that this woman is not mother mary at all okay if this woman is not mother mary then what actually is this verse speaking of dear brethren if you see this book of revelation is actually a symbolic book you see we know very well that uh, all the things given in the book of revelation is not a uh, literal at all it has got a total symbolic meaning you see so so what is the symbolic meaning here here it says there appeared a great wonder in heaven the first thing you see and the woman was clothed uh, in sun standing up on the moon now what do you mean by heaven in the bible you see heaven in the bible has got three meanings one it is the abode of god where god himself is staying jesus taught us to pray a father which art in heaven and a second heaven is outer universe where the galaxy is there the third heaven in the bible is the outer sky earth atmosphere when the scripture says there was a great wonder in heaven it is actually speaking about the earth atmosphere you see the earth atmosphere where uh, you see this uh, incident uh, happened now what actually happened there there a woman was seen now who is a woman in the bible there are actually two women in the bible you see the church and the false church the true church is called as a virgin in the bible while the false church is called as a whore a prostitute in the bible let us read second corinthians 11 to uh, muna sister can you read second corinthians 11 to
for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused to you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Very good, sir. Now the church is engaged to Christ. You see, the marriage will actually take place at the second coming. But here, before the second coming of our Lord, the church, uh, you see, what has happened? Uh, that woman is conceived. Uh, that means uh, there is something, you see, illegal that is growing inside the church. Correct now? You see, how can the church be conceived uh, without getting married? Uh? Here, uh, the conception actually signifies something illegal. Something which was not supposed to grow inside a woman who is virgin began to grow. Now, what is that one? That is a great antichrist system that began to grow while the apostles themselves were living in a small way. And therefore, you see, we see that woman had uh, 12 stars upon her head. Which are the 12 stars? You know, huh? how many apostles did uh, Jesus have? How many apostles were there? Two will. Well, you see, therefore, the 12 stars uh, represents the 12 apostles who were like a crown to the church. You see, they were the crowning glory to the church. You see, in the Bible, the church is compared to stars also. You see, the film stars, sports stars. So similarly, these are the biblical stars, the church. Okay. Now, what do you mean by sun and the moon? You see, actually, the sun in the Bible represents the Old Testament, while moon in the Bible represents the New Testament. How, okay, does the moon have its own light? Tell me, does the moon have its own light? Tell me, Anil Badar, Sunita Star, Romi Star, tell me. No. No. Mm. Okay. Then uh, which light does the moon reflect? Sun. Very good. So, similarly, Old Testament is the moon. We can't understand the Old Testament just like that, uh, reading directly the Old Testament. You see, that can be understood only with the New Testament. The New Testament is the sun, which actually reflects its light upon the moon, upon the Old Testament and brings it to clarity. Read Ephesians 2.20. Here if it says, the woman was clothed with the sun, that means the woman was completely covered. You see, she was actually completely in the New Testament and her foundation was upon the Old Testament. Read Ephesians 2.20. Uh, Joel Buddha, Ephesians 2.20. Hope you are all uh, concentrating. Ephesians 2.20. Read Buddha. And, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief corner stone. See, foundation of the apostles. You see, the prophets, uh, Jesus Christ himself being the chief corner stone. So, upon the Old Testament doctrines, Completely covered with the New Testament teachings, the church stood as a virgin. But what happened there? Something which was not supposed to grow inside the church is growing. Now what was growing inside the church? An illegal thing. You see, what is the thing? You see, dear brethren, that is the great antichrist system. Okay, let us read Thessalonians. You see, um, read Second Thessalonians, second chapter six and seven. Second Thessalonians, second chapter six and seven. Anil Buddha, can you read? Two six seven. And now you know what withholdeth the that he might be revealed in his time for the mystery of iniquity doth already work 
only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way ah you see that is already working it seems sir you see the great man of sin the great antique system is already in work but something is holding the antique system sir that means while the apostles were alive the antichrist is secretly working inside you see but something is stopping this antichrist system to openly work you know dear brethren so we see that child was inside this you see woman this antichrist system was working inside you see the church while the apostles were alive now how did she come out how did the child come out read revelation 12 chapter verse 4 revelation 12 4 uh, amar brother can you read revelation 12 4 revelation 12 4 and his tail do the third part of the stars of heavens and did cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be a deliver ah, for the thank you for her child as soon as it was born thank you brother so here we see that the great dragon cast the third part of the stars to the ground it seems because of which the woman was able to deliver it seems now what is this dragon you see we have seen uh, about this one uh, in uh, daniel uh, you see four chapter and then uh, second chapter and seventh chapter hope you all remember the great red dragon which had uh, 10 horns upon his head the daniel seventh chapter the fourth beast the roman empire you see the roman empire helped the great antichrist system to come to power how it drew the third part of the stars to the ground it seems sir now what is this third part of the stars sir you see we already saw stars uh, in the book of revelation means biblical stars now who were the biblical stars if you see they were actually the apostles sir. you see and uh, the three parts of the stars and only one part fell to the ground means uh, in the spiritual heaven they were actually three religions the jewish religion the christian religion and the pagan religion but the roman empire persecuted these christians and these apostles all died when all the apostles died when all the stars went away you see there was no one to protect uh, the church uh, from this great antichrist so antichrist got a upper hand and uh, he was born he came out uh, and did all the things uh, publicly which he was doing in secret and uh, hence we see that uh, child was immediately got uh, caught to the throne of god how can a child immediately go and uh, sit on the throne of god and rule did jesus christ do that one uh, as soon as he was born did he rule the whole world no jesus christ is going to rule only at his second coming hence uh, this child is not jesus this child is a duplicate jesus that is the great antichrist system as soon as it got separated from the true church immediately began to rule the world the pope you see he sat on the throne of god he ruled as god all over the world okay now what happened to the woman you see we must mainly observe that one the child is on the throne but what happened to the woman verse 6 uh, verse 6 uh, sunita sir can you read verse 6 revelation 12 6 And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of God that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. Ah, woman fell into the wilderness, it seems. How many days? Thousand two sixty days. You see, 
that means woman was not in the city where people are there she was isolated you see wilderness means isolated condition remember when jesus was not allowed to preach in the churches that means in the synagogues he went out of jerusalem and preached in the wilderness entire city followed him so similarly this represents the recognition of the church the church was not recognized at all in the society it was totally outcast isolated from the world and uh, what was the period 1260 days last time we are read now for a prophet one day means how many years who can tell for a prophet one day means how many years one year one year very good yes one, one year for jesus one day is 1000 years but for a prophet one day is one year so 1260 days means 1260 years remember this is the period of antichrist from 539 to 1799 is a period of 1260 years in which church was not prominent at all you see there were only few faithful people all over the world remember the story of elia you say elija i hope you all remember you see he was fed uh, by the crow you see in the wilderness for 3 and 1/2 years the same way god took care of the church that's where he says uh, the woman was taken into the wilderness to be nourished you see okay now when women was not there when the church was not there in prominence what happened there verse 7 and verse 8 Verse 7 and verse 8. Anil brother, can you read Revelation 12, 7 and 8? And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Very good. Here it says, there was a war in heaven. between whom michael and his angels and dragon and his angels now okay now who is michael in the bible who is called as michael in the bible jesus christ very good sir jesus but here it says there was war in heaven between the dragon and the michael really there is war in heaven we have seen this heaven is not a little heaven it is the earth atmosphere that means this michael also can't be a little michael that is jesus christ this is the duplicate michael you see the great antichrist system you see antichrist against christ duplicate christ the great antichrist system you see and the roman empire you see the romans had a pagan religion you see those people did not want to leave their religion but christianity was a new religion that was uh, really coming up in rome the priest uh, and the uh, soothsayers and the wise men of the roman empire they did not want uh, christianity to dominate uh, the roman empire but uh, there was a war between them there was a contention you see but the bible says uh, you see who won the war uh, you see read verse uh, verse 9 uh, read verse 9 sister ha huh? anil brother read verse 9 Anil brother you there verse 9 yeah and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and the sat and satan which deceived the whole world he was cast out in the earth and his angels were cast out with him so here it says you see the dragon and his angels were cast out that means the pagan religion was completely destroyed christianity dominated you see huh? 
the papacy dominated the pagan system and the uh, roman empire completely become the roman catholic empire therefore we see the brain that uh, this uh, revelation 12 chapter is actually symbolically representing how the great uh, antichrist system was there okay now at the end of uh, you see uh, 1260 days the woman should actually come back uh, you see she was in the wilderness no to be taken care uh, by the lord let us see what happens here revelation 12th uh, chapter uh, verse uh, 14 revelation 12 14 13 uh, and 14 revelation 12 chapter verse 13 and 14 joel brother can you read and when the dragon saw the he cast on to the earth he prosecuted the woman which brought forth the man child and and to the woman were given to wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into our place where she is a nourishes for a time and a time and half a time from the face of the serpent mm. continue continue verse 15 also there ha huh? and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to her to be carry away the flood okay so you see uh, it says uh, that the uh, end of 2260 days uh, the woman was supposed to return from the wilderness uh, now the great uh, dragon that is the antichrist system the satan he came to know that uh, slowly the church will again come to prominence when since 1799 so what did the devil do here is that he cast out uh, the flood uh, after the woman so that she may be carried away by the flood uh, from, from where this uh, flood come it says in verse 14 and 15 that it was from the mouth of the great red dragon the serpent that means the dragon the serpent represents the satan you see the evil sources you see and the water coming uh, the water in the bible represents the truth that means the truth the fact uh, the awakening awareness uh, for the whole world came out from evil sources uh, when in 1799 during the french revolution knowledge began to increase you see and everybody were enlightened about their rights about their you see uh, awareness awakening then what happened the public revolted against the great you see uh, system the corrupt system that was there in france because in france in 1799 there was a great recession the people had uh, no food no bread to eat also and that is the time you see that uh, this uh, public began to revolt about the aristocratic rule of the emperors and the popes they all uh, you see publicly revolted uh, against the kings they looted uh, you see their uh, palaces they brought uh, all the prince uh, and the princess their family to the roads and they were butchered you see this all happened why because people realized their rights the truth about their rights that how much they were suppressed by these people so this is the flood of the water in the great revolution in the great strike satan tried to destroy the church also in this persecution his idea was to destroy the real true christians also but unfortunately this plan of the devil did not work out what happened verse 16 uh, can somebody read verse 16 munasita can you read verse 16 
and the earth helps the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. Okay, sir. See, this is all symbolic uh, uh, meaning earth uh, in the Bible means uh, society. Remember the three world class? Hmm? The earth was destroyed. Means what? Uh? The society was destroyed. Uh? It was the same earth, uh, but Noah continued. So here the earth means society. Society digested uh, this fact uh, about, uh, you see, inequality between the common and the princess. Uh. So what happened? Uh, this did not work out as per the expectations of the serpent, the great dragon, to destroy the church. But rather, it was a reverse way. It went out against the paper system and there was a great flood of truth. You see, the woman was again brought uh, back from the wilderness. Uh, you see, the great reformation happened. Protestants uh, denominations were formed who protested against the papacy system. Bible societies were built. Bibles were translated and uh, freely circulated all over the world. So what happened? You see, the great uh, woman was not recognized in the society till 1799. There was no truth. There was no, you see, truth movement. There was no studies of the Bible at all. But since 1799, she began to be recognized. Hence, if you go and read the church history, brethren, the Bible was in dead language. Nobody could read the language. You see, so here, the return of the church is given in Revelation 12 chapter. So, Revelation 12 chapter, you see, dear brethren, is speaking about the great Antichrist system, how Antichrist was uh, illegally growing inside the church until the apostles uh, lived, once the apostles died. That Antichrist, uh, which was like a small child, a small beginning, came out and immediately went and sat on the throne, means immediately began to rule the whole world. You see, uh, such a power was got to the Antichrist system, the Pope. Uh, you see, what did the Pope do? He destroyed the other religion, the pagan religion that was there in Rome. You see, and that time, the woman, the true church was not recognized at all. She was persecuted. She was in isolated condition. But yet some people were there. And in 1799, when Pope was supposed to lose his power, church again came back. You see, and the society accepted the truth uh, through the Protestants, uh, you see, and uh, they stood for the truth. But not uh, every Protestants today are, uh, you see, for the truth. Because Satan has he deceived the Roman Emperor, the Roman Empire, the Roman Church has been today deceiving the entire Protestant denomination also with all the same false doctrines. Except only one thing, the difference is there, that they believe in idol worship, they don't do idol worship. But apart from this, all the doctrines are one and the same. Dear brethren, this is about the great Antichrist system. So, I hope uh, you all have understood. I know it's very difficult to understand these symbols. It will take time. Uh, we will revise it again, Lord willing. Uh, but I hope the notes which uh, we are sending to you in the group, the PDF and uh, uh, Nepali translation, it is really helpful for you. Uh, okay. Now, why did uh, the Jewish people uh, hand over Jesus to Pilate? Because of? Tell me, why did it? Uh, what is the reason? We just have read now. Envy. Envy. Envy means what? Again. Ah, jealousy, hatred. You see, enmity. Correct, no? Yes. Ah, so that is the reason they end about. But uh, they did not know that Jesus was the Messiah. If Jesus was the Messiah, they wouldn't have never allowed him. The same way, sister. The whole world. Okay, even the Protestant denomination, some people are very sincere, very dedicated. They're doing it ignorantly. See, all these people that cried blood, 
before Pilate saying, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. What did Pilate say? Shall I crucify your king? Pilate asked him. Thinking that at least if I mention the name of the king, they would really, you see, tell to release Jesus. But what did they say? They said, we have no king apart from whom? Apart from Caesar. So they kill him. They kill him, they said. You see, so it's the same way. You see, some people, they are very ignorant. Okay, they don't want to do it. But they are so blinded by the devil that they will do it. You see, that's what we read now. 2 Corinthians 4.4 4. The God of this world, what has he done? He's blinded the eyes of Hmm? Hello, open the Bible, please. 2 Corinthians 4 4. Can somebody read 2 Corinthians 4 4? Munna sister. Yes, brother. Uh, you're there, sister. Can you read 2 Corinthians 4 4? In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them who is believe not. Hmm. Satan has blinded them. The... Thank you, sir. Satan has blinded their mind so they may not see the gospel light. Same way it happened to Israel. Now, what did the people cry? Luke 23, 21. Luke 23, 20 and 21. Joel, brother, can you read? Luke 23, verse 20 and 21. Uh, Pilate, uh, Pilate, therefore willing to release Jesus, spake again to them, but they cried, saying, Crucifying him, crucify him. Crucify him. So, same people. You know what happened? After a few days, when their eyes were opened, you know how they behaved? Read Acts, second chapter. Romister, read Acts, second chapter, 36 and 37. Acts 2nd chapter 36 and 37. 36 and 37. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly assure, that God hath made the, that same Jesus whom he have crucified both Lord and Christ. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Mm, this is the reaction of the same people who crucify Christ. When Peter spoke the truth, their eyes were opened. You see? And they realized their mistake. You see? So similarly, many people after listening to the truth, they realized their mistake as we both are doing. You see? I realized my mistake 23 years before. Now you are realizing how many years, how many months before. You see? You're starting to realize. Now, what is the next procedure? Verse 38. 38. Mm. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized ev every one of you in the same name in the name of Jesus Christ for the uh, resumption remission of, of sin sins sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. See? What did uh, Peter say? Repent and be baptized. You see, so this is the the next step. So this is the procedure. So it will happen to the whole world also, sister. Now, God's grace, our eyes are open in the kingdom. When they will all awake, they will also realize their mistakes. They will realize how they were deceived by this false system. They will also mm -hmm. learn the truth now. 
they will also feel very painful very grieved they will also feel very sorrow but unfortunately they will lose the opportunity to attain heavenly salvation then there will be only earthly salvation no heavenly salvation so heavenly salvation is for the people who by god's grace if their eyes are open now if they are able to see understand it grasp it clearly understand it concept clearly they can have the chance to attain heavenly salvation that's what we took the subject about church you remember how many mm. people will remain faithful to god till their death 1 lakh 44000 yes so our target is to be of that 1 lakh 44000 a part of that uh, jesus you see a part uh, who can be the image of christ okay so the rest of the world they are in their own imagination god has given them the time not to worry at all they will all come up in the resurrection many people have died many people are still alive no need to worry see we did not know until god opened our ears and eyes so it's our responsibility one thing is that we need to be the channels of blessings we need to be the tools of our lord we need to be the stewards where we can go and serve and give this food and open you see the eyes uh, of many brethren who don't know it you see how many people are witnessing how many people we meet now daily how many christians we have interaction are we witnessing to them he we need to witness it it's a lost duty you see see somebody has witnessed to you imagine somebody has witnessed to gopal somebody has witnessed to ashish you know if somebody has you wouldn't have taken this step do you think it would have gone to your place you know somebody witnessed to me also it was a very strange situation if i if you hear mentish me you will be surprised you see i was a layman somewhere in some corner you know somebody witnessed very carelessly to me but i took it very seriously <laughs> Uh, the the person who witnessed to me was very shocked uh, and uh, god uh, led me to this truth so this all happens sister so it is our responsibility we need to take the truth that's what jesus says uh, you see go to the end of the world and uh, you see make disciples not convert uh, no mm. conversion make disciples what do you mean by disciples deny yourself carry the cross carry the cross this is the main thing of course god will take care of all our necessities no no need for to plead or beg with god for miracles for wonders he will definitely he is, is the god who has told i will never leave you nor forsake you he will keep his promise mm -hmm. we might feel that we are forsaken we are desolate it will happen this is the experience that is required how can we become jesus like jesus without any sufferings <clears throat> so these things will be there so no need to worry see this is all a test of faith so this is how we see the entire plan of god sister so you may, you might have heard uh, you can you might sit calmly and recollect from beginning till now whatever you have taken it is the it is the outline of the entire plan of god so this uh, each and every christians will know each and every world each and every person of this world will understand in kingdom sister okay thank you brother okay any other questions anybody any doubts amar brother no questions okay so hope uh, many things are clear yeah so let us not feel bad for the uh, old protestants uh, mother she will always be there so let us see our father okay. heavenly father and run the race correct now okay okay brother uh, so all the churches let us not worry okay let us be glad that god has given us this truth so we'll pray for them okay god has made a plan jesus never shouted the bible says that jesus never shouted in all the streets oh come everybody listen to the gospel 4000 people followed 3000 5000 people followed he gave them the food that's all entire city came but the entire city did not tell them the truth you see jesus had done so many miracles did he ever open anybody's eyes of understanding you tell me show me from the bible i'll agree to it he has never opened a single person's eyes of understanding except the apostles in mm -hmm. matthew 13 chapter it says unto you it is given to know the mysteries of uh, kingdom of heaven not unto everybody lest they get converted you know you read the scripture read matthew yes. 13 jesus feared conversion matthew 13 chapter mm. 
Matthew 13th chapter 15th verse. Matthew 13, 15. Oh, unto you, S scribe and uh, no, no, no. And Matthew, Matthew 13, 15. Oh, sorry, brother. I was in the wrong chapter. Let me get back there. 13? 15. And 15, sorry. For this people's heart is waxed, gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, mm -hmm. and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Jesus feared who, if they understand, they will convert, they will be healed. Jesus did not want this thing to happen. Why? There is a criteria. Many are called, few are chosen. chosen. Correct, no? Everybody be healed. Only one leper came back and gave gratitude. So, it depends upon the man's heart condition, how he reacts to the love of Christ. Jesus healed so many people. How many people were there with him? While he was dying on the cross. Not even one. Isn't it correct now? Mm. Uh, then mm. Roman centurion said, this is the son of God. He really is the son of God. But how many of the Jewish people said, he is really the son of God? Nobody. So, God knows his plan is there. It will never fail. He has faith on his plan. We, God's children, also should have faith on his God's plan. It will definitely work out. It might be very strange to us, but let us accept what is God's will. Okay? Okay, brother. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, Gopal brother. Uh, sorry. Joel brother, any doubts? Any questions? Question, brother. Okay. Munna sister. Yes, 